Okay, let's try this again. January 14th. Um, the I might pull cards. We'll see. Um, only Dodge. Only Dodge. Okay, somebody should have a Dodge. Okay. A black Dodge or a blue Dodge. I'm seeing a blue Dodge with blue rims. A black Dodge with black rims. A black Dodge with chrome rims. The angel number is 111. If you want to look that up. I think that has something to do with um, living in your um, your purpose, but I'm not too sure, so you'll have to look it up. Only God can judge me, okay? Um, he's judging you too. Like, only God can judge you. It doesn't matter what your friends think, say, whatever, right? Or your family in some cases, right? or officials, right? Because they are just human too and, and some of them can be even worse off than you in the mind. Um, okay, so I had some side notes here. So I'm gonna read those first and I heard technical difficulties, okay? So your phone could be like having some difficulties working or you could have random apps, your phone could be fucking hacked, whatever, right? I'm getting that people who are hacking people's phones, your phone is now hacked, okay, via the federal government. <laughs> like, it's detectives. Okay, due to discrepancies. Discrepancies in, in the, in the, by, like, done by officials, okay? So because there's, there's documents coming in and it doesn't match with what they see, okay, there's discrepancies there. And now the federal government, government, okay, the officials there, the law officials there, okay, aren't gonna tell the provincial government what the fuck's going on because they know that this shit's been tampered with and they just don't know, they just don't know. They're not gonna know, okay? They're not allowed to know, something like that. Okay, there's like spies here, there's people watching. Okay, I call them the watchers just cause that show came out, but. So the watchers are mentally deranged, okay? Some, like somebody, takes who you are as a person your stories fucking what you like to do like your hobbies like what you wear how you talk shit like that they're like they they hate they hate you because they ain't you you know <laughs> like they they want to be you and then they fucking talk so much shit about you about like your physical appearance how you don't have shit they call you dirty and stuff and like these are like very superficial things that they fucking talk about right they're just fucking just a bully like a bitch like things that don't matter because my looks don't fucking matter okay it's who i am on the inside and it's way better than you that's how bad <laughs> it is like they're mental <laughs> oh fuck yeah that gives me like a headache okay moving on Lots of corrupt officials, okay, in the judicial, judicial system. I don't know how to say that, <laughs> uh, but I, I can hear it. Um, criminal minds, like straight up evil officials. Okay, that was one side note. On a side note, they're all the witnesses and statements that were on the opposition side of you or me, okay, have been bought. Okay, they've been falsified, false reports, false documents, missing documents, um, documents that are fixed, you know. And they all have to represent on how I carry myself and how I can't carry myself, blah, 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 blah. That's false, okay? Mm. And even by these officials, okay, their paperwork, false. I hold myself in high regard, okay? I don't just like, I don't just go out there and give my energy to anybody. I'm not like that. My mind functions properly, okay? It actually functions really well, <laughs> believe it or not. 
Um, and I'm not a violent person, so all these things about me saying the opposite are false. I was made to act out in many ways by being surrounded and, and gaslit and manipulated, okay? So, do your research, people. Okay, so I know more now since like I've started meditating and becoming like spiritual, right? No more. I meditate, the more the divine shows me. And I have like a, a better understanding of why nobody told me, why nobody had my back or why nobody like had respect for my life or my sons. Okay. And nobody wants to admit this. Like I wouldn't want to admit that either if I put somebody through this shit, you know, it's disgusting. It's like inhumane. Um, So I'm, I'm able to see a different perspective of this now and and I get it and I get it. So it's like, would I do that? No, never. Okay. Ever. But you see that, like, you know how people say like, there's, there's a, there's a dollar price for everything. Anything can be bought, right? Or like anything can be negotiated. Not here. Not here. I won't sign an NDA. Fuck that. I'm allowed to voice who I am and what happened to me. Okay, fuck you. I'll never sign an NDA. There's no number you can, there's no number. Okay, there's no fucking number with me. <laughs> there's no negotiating. Why did it make that noise? <sighs> like you could offer me a billion dollars to even do what happened to me to somebody else and I tell you to go fuck yourself. Okay. <laughs> Um, so the situation here, someone of power, okay? So this could be anybody, a boss, like fucking even the most popular person down the way, right? Like, um, but they have, they have pull here. Someone of power is reasoning with themselves over a delay, a removal, or a division, okay? And this division was due to... A third party whatever that means to you like your ex the person's ex like buddy down the way like you know but it's like a third party it wasn't you and the other person this realized that uh, realizes that someone is credible they're a credible source of knowledge okay they're they're for real for real okay um toxic traits and instability was spoken on this spoken on someone's name out of malice okay to control finances and to maintain a lie so these people wanted this person's money and they lied to get it and they want to continue to have that happen so they infiltrated okay this was this third party situation okay i'm getting multiple third party situations it was fucking surrounded like not <laughs> if they didn't know about the situation they learned They wanted to bind someone with money, okay? So this could be you, or or you could have got stole from, right? Or you could have been a, a, one of the fucking third parties. Whichever one resonates for you. They want to bind someone with money to the situation, so when the time came to speak on it, they would say that this man or woman gave them the money, okay? To cover up a fraud or identity theft, or both. Another man... Okay, so this is a different energy. They had like a player energy, like a like a like a gigolo energy. Okay, they fucked for money. Am I allowed to say that? Too late. Um, I gotta think of like a code word for that because I say that a lot. Um, <laughs> they act as if they have power. Okay, they act as if they're like this person, but they're not their um shit's stolen okay they're rejected and this is their karma so what they do well if they're getting karma for stealing and rejecting people are probably stealing from them and they're probably getting rejected or they have to like they get called out and they're rejected because they did this to somebody okay
Okay, the challenge here. Um, there's actions involving outsiders. Okay. Um, when it comes to matters of romance and love. Okay, these are regretted. They're like, why did I, 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 why didn't I just trust what I was feeling inside, you know? Why didn't I trust this person? Like, it's because it was surrounded, okay? So, like, duh, it's like, if everyone says this, I'm going to be believe it. But that was dumb. Unsure of th these people around them now because it's clear that they don't say or do what they need. Oh, they will say or do what they need to separate you from the from real healthy relationships. Why is this? Okay, you, you need to start asking yourself these questions. Like, why, 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 why? Find the answers. Okay, you know them already based on how you see these people operate. Like, you need to ask yourself this instead of, like, interrogating everybody else. Ask yourself. Okay, that's, that's like a fucking reliable source of knowledge. <laughs> okay, what you've observed. So I do that all the time. <laughs> I never judge anybody by what someone tells me. Because <laughs> I know that people are fucking happiness haters, right? They're like fucking, I don't have that. I don't want that person to have that. Or I like how it is right now. This person can't have this. Like, what? Who, the, who are you? <laughs> like, who the fuck are you? Get out of here. Um, only God can fucking judge me, okay? <laughs> Somebody's upset because jealous men can manipulate situations or they have manipulated situations, but there's just as much jealous women too. Okay. You believed and took action on this, on this group effort to have somebody hurt. Okay. Heartache, disappointment. Um, there's a bunch of evil cops. Okay. That don't think they're evil. Okay. But they can't sleep at night. Because they're bound to this hate crime against a boss and an earth angel. <laughs> good. Fucking good. You're going to go to prison. <laughs> it's going to be funny too because like you guys think you're, you can control everything, right? In this case, it was entrapment, okay, on many levels. I'm getting like, there was, there was like cops watching from a distance, okay, and from a different province, okay, like from a distance, distance is what I'm trying to say here, like far, right? Okay, illegally watching, surveillancing, okay, for no fucking reason, okay? And they saw a certain relationship here between this boss and this earth angel that could offer them both peace somehow. Right? So they sent in a snake. They actually sent in two snakes right away. My parents are here. Um, so that there wouldn't there would be enough drama and not enough time to juggle the idea of a healthier minded like especially not this fucking earth angel psychic, like fuck no, right? So they sent two girls in. People who they knew were dramatic, out of their mind, right? <sighs> to talk shit the outcome my gifts are genuine predictions are starting to come to fruition um and they're accurate this is causing a tower for people in relation to this concealed corruption there's a hidden house okay there's something significant within a house and it's hidden um, I chose a different way of handling this situation by keeping to myself and trying my best to fix the things within me that caused me to want to be needed by unstable people. Like anybody, right? So my fate is different, okay? And there's something really important here. It's, I'm making a video and I'm like just about done. So you're going to have to... Excuse me for a minute, please. I'll be done in like two minutes. Yeah, I'm not saying nothing, keep going. Okay. So there's a really key part here and it's because of um, my intention behind what I do. Okay, and, and that's what you'll be judged on, your intent. Um, my intention was to keep away from the situation, the people involved, okay, the people I could stay away from. Um, so that was my intention. Okay, that's what I'll be judged on. 
That's what I believe that I'll be judged on. Okay, based off of the intuitive downloads that I get. Okay. And the action I took, okay, um, when I found out I literally couldn't get away from some people, I, I just stood my ground, you know? I stood my fucking ground while these watchers were watching. And that was the action I took, okay, to change things for myself, to change my fate, okay? I could have kept hanging out with these people and acted a certain way and da-da-da, not worked on myself and, and actually got worse where my fate would have been a little bit different, okay? But, but I wasn't involved in any of this other stuff, so of course my fate's going to be different. So my intention was to stay away, okay, and do better. My action was I stood my ground, okay, and that's key. I continued to build my relations with, with the Most High, okay? Um, and I channeled every relation that put me through this conflict, okay? People who were, the people who were manipulated and didn't know the fullness of the story, okay? This story's wreckage, okay? Um, for example, like how far it went back, how much was put into this, what it was all about, what it was for, how it was all manipulation to infiltrate, infiltrate like fast, like, like how it was just to have my money, power over my money. Okay. That it was stolen. Okay. And there was like a home that was stolen. Um, so like the people that were painted a different picture of the situation will have a different fate as well. Okay. Only if like, that's, that's if your mind has been changed. Okay. Since you know, since you have a bigger picture of what happened now, if your intentions have changed knowing this, okay. And you'll know if you're still trying to fight it or if you're still thinking, oh, like if you're still thinking like, you still want to go ahead with taking these actions that you've taken before, then your fate's sealed. But if your t intentions have changed now, when you realize what you've, what you've gotten yourself into. Okay. And, and here's the action part. If you take action to try and fix it. Okay. So my intention was pure. I stood my ground. That was my action. If your intention is different and pure and you're taking an action in order to fix it. Okay. My action was standing my ground and getting away or getting away and standing my ground, okay, to change it, to change my fate, okay? If your intention's different and you take action to try and fix your situation, whatever you got yourself into, your fate will be different, okay? To a certain degree, like um, you're still involved in whatever, right? <sighs> I hope someone understand that because it's really key here, the intention and the action to fix it. Okay, because every, every decision has, like, a consequence. And that sounds so, like, harsh, but it's true. And it's not. It's not. It doesn't always have to be. It just depends how you are, right? Like, <laughs> I'm getting, like, um, like, someone, like, <laughs> someone going to kick a target, and it's just as hard as they get kicked in the ass, and they fucking go flying. <laughs> That's what I'm getting, okay? That's what I'm getting in my mind's eye. It's like someone's like winding up really hard to kick this fucking target and they get booted in the ass. <laughs> oh, fuck. That's funny. Um, the people who played a key part, okay? Like a pivotal part of this, okay? You could still change your intention as well, okay? You could still try to fix it as well. But if, if you're a part of like the abuse of power, okay, the attacks, the attempts on my life, the fraud, the identity theft, um, if you were bound to my house in any way, you know, that house that they sold drugs out of and like have made into a whorehouse, <laughs> okay? Um, if you were bound to that house that they stole um, in any way, there's no way around that really, okay? We, I, I can feel your energy, you're evil. You're one of these people who who hate me because you ain't me, or you hate somebody because you ain't them, okay? People are seeing exactly who you are, and it's evil. It's like just downright not good. You lined your pockets off trying to kill somebody and broadcasted their demise. 
You ruin their character within the community to isolate and deplete their sense of security within themselves. You try to have people think that this person's connection and relationship to spirituality is false. Some people even called you this person demonic or ritualistic or irrational. When in fact they have proof, okay, they have proof of you paying for for conducting acts like this against this person. So yeah, you're going to federal prison and your houses are going to be raided any day now. So if it hasn't already, you're welcome. You're welcome. And my next reading is gonna be about litigation somehow because I was guided to write that down last night. <laughs> 